Hi guys, today is another get ready with me using makeup from my collection. I've got in front of me some La Prairie, the other La Prairie foundation, the cushion one. Got some Tom Ford Chanel, also got some Guerlain and the new Hermes bronzer as well. I've been using the Hermes bronzer quite a lot since I did that video on it and I just think it's absolutely beautiful. So I've done all my skincare, the last step being sunscreen. I've still got to put on some primer. So today I'm going to use the Tom Ford primer. This is the Traceless Soft Matte one. I really love this primer and it's great. We are using a foundation. It's not that the La Prairie one is too glowy. It's sort of a foundation that's really for all skin types. It's definitely not a soft matte foundation. So when I use foundations like that, I tend to use this primer. It's just a little bit more matte than that new Dior one that I absolutely love and also the Hourglass one as well, the new one that was released last year. It is a really lovely primer, this one, and I'm on my second bottle of this. So before I start with my foundation, I just want to mention, as I've said before, I am trying to do one of these videos a week. It might end up being one a fortnight, depending on time. And I'll probably be putting them in between other videos, especially if there are quite a few new releases coming up. But I just wanted to also mention that if you have any requests of anything that you want to see, and if I have it in my collection, and if I use that product as my everyday makeup, then I'm more than happy to use it in one of my videos. So just let me know in the comments below, and I'll have a look and see if I've got it, and I'll feature it in an upcoming video. So the foundation that I'm going to use today, it's a La Prairie one, and this is the Skin Caviar Essence in Foundation. This also comes with a refill as well. It is a beautiful, beautiful foundation. I love the other La Prairie one, the one, the liquid one with the bottle and the concealer on top. I think this is gorgeous. This is probably more of, it's a little bit lighter than the other foundation. This one probably I would tend to wear more in the summer, although I can wear it all year round with my oily skin. Whereas the other one, although it is absolutely gorgeous, it is that little bit heavier. I just find this just a little bit lighter. So with these cushion foundations, I always put them on using a beauty blender. Now this foundation, like other La Prairie products, it is quite heavily fragranced. I really love the La Prairie fragrance. I think it's really, really beautiful. But the foundation itself is just absolutely gorgeous so i had a look a while ago to see if this was still available because it tends to come in and out of availability and the other day i had another look on nordstrom and they didn't seem to have it and also i think i looked at zach's and they don't seem to have it at the moment either but i did have a look at neiman marcus and they have a few shades in of this and they are labeling it as new so they've obviously just received some foundation in of this cushion i think it gives a really really beautiful finish i just love the la prairie foundations and they are on the more pricier side but these are foundations that i would definitely purchase again I think they are absolutely beautiful. So I think that this foundation gives a really lovely medium coverage. You can build it up slightly. I could even go to the other La Prairie foundation and use the concealer that's on there because I really like that concealer and use it to touch up. Or you can just build up the foundation itself and you can get it towards more of a strong medium. And then for concealer, I'm going to use the Dior Forever Skin Correct. This is the newly formulated one. And I mentioned it in a video just a little while ago that I only recently picked this up. And I absolutely love it. I love this reformulated concealer. I think it's better than the other one. The other one was always just a little bit too thick for me. But I think this is really beautiful. I have this in the shade 2.5N. 
And just while I let that concealer sit for a little while, I'm just going to do my eyebrows. So there's nothing new with the eyebrow pencil. This is the Chanel. This is the long wear one. I use it every single day. I'm not very adventurous when it comes to eyebrow pencils. When I find a shade and a pencil that works, I tend to stick with it. Then I'm just going to put on some eyeshadow primer. I still haven't powdered under my eyes yet. I just do my eyebrows and then put on eyeshadow primer. It just lets that concealer really settle and meld into my skin. I do that with all my concealers. So now I'm just going to powder under my eyes. I always use my finger to powder and just the smallest amount of powder as well. It's really just enough to set it. And then set my foundation. I'm going to use the La Prairie. This is the Skin Caviar Loose Powder. This is on the pricey side as well. But this has, I think it is 40 grams. I'll just double check. It is 40 grams of product. And this also comes with a travel size, which is 10 grams. So you're getting 50 grams of product. And I really need to do a price breakdown like I did when I did the Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Concealer, comparing it to Clay de Peau and the new Sublimage and also the La Prairie Concealer, which I really like. Because I have a feeling once you break it down and gram for gram, even though this is initially quite expensive, I think it would be around about the same price as the other loose powders that I have. And in particular, the Chanel loose powder that I really love. And I also have the Sisley one, as well as a few others. So I'm just going to use the BK Beauty. This is the 105. And just pop on just a little bit of the powder. I use this powder with other foundations as well. But when I pair it with the La Prairie, the essence that I'm using today, the Cushion One, and also the other La Prairie foundation, they are like a marriage made in heaven. They just go really beautifully together. I think this is a really gorgeous powder. Again, like I was saying with the Essence Foundation, this is quite heavily fragranced. I don't tend to notice it after a while, but if you're quite sensitive to fragrance, this is quite a heavy type, but I really love the smell of it. I think it is really, really beautiful. And for bronzer, I'm going to use the new Hermes one. This is in shade two in Atlas. This is also now available in the States and also at Selfridges. And I have picked up shade 03. And I've been using this since I did my video when I reviewed it. And I also compared it alongside a whole lot of other bronzers as well. This is a really beautiful bronzer. I think the texture of it is very similar, if not almost identical, to the Victoria Beckham, the bronzing brick, and I think that is really silky, and that's what this feels like as well. It's really, really gorgeous. So I'm going to use the Sonia G, the Niji Pro. The shade is probably, possibly a tad too light, although I think for winter time, It'll be really, really lovely. It'll be interesting to see what shade three is like when I get it. It's just going to be perhaps a little bit cooler and a little bit deeper as well. But this is really lovely and it is buildable as well. So now let's get on to eyeshadow. I'm going to be using Tom Ford today. And just like I did with a recent video when I used two Dior Quints, I'm going to be using two Tom Ford palettes in Nude Dip. This is absolutely beautiful, this palette, and definitely everyday type of shades for me. Now, all of these have a little bit of a sparkle in them, and sometimes I don't want that with all of the shadows that I put on my eye. So often I pair it with this Tom Ford palette, and this is the one in Mink Mirage, and this is the one, I'm just taking out the brushes, this is the one that has all the mattes in it. And together, I think they are just really, really beautiful. So I'm going to take the Sonia G, this is the Classic Crease, and 
I think I might start off with this. I was going to start off with this shade, but I think I will just start off with this shade. It's not really going to show very much on my lid, but I think I'm going to put that all over. And then I'm going to go into this shade here. And I'm going to concentrate this more on my crease. And I'll just take it just slightly above as well. Then I'm going to take the Rafa 14 and I'm going to start deepening it up a bit. So I'm going to go into this shade here. Then I'm going to take the Sonia G, this is softer, finer, and I'm going to stay with the shade and run some of this just under my lower lash line. Now I've swapped to the Nude Dip Palette and I'm just using the Rafa 14 brush and I'm going to go into the shade here and I'm going to use this one for the outer corner and also just take it up slightly as well and then same with the Nude Dip Palette I'm going to go into this shade here and just put that just over not quite all the rest of my lid but just all through here and I'm going to take this shade up here just slightly as well then I'm going to take the applicator that comes with the palette and I'm going to go into this lighter shade and I'm going to put that through here and also put a little bit in the inner corner as well and then I'm going to go back to the Mink Mirage palette and use this darker shade in here. I'm going to grab this on your G. This is the pencil one. And I'm just going to put a little bit in the very outer corner. I think it's deep enough like this as well. I think this is really beautiful by itself. But just for a little bit of extra depth, it's quite nice to place this shadow in the corner and same brush and same shade I'm going to put a little bit of this my lower lash line as well and I'm going to take the Sony G the soft shader and I'm going to use this just to blend out that dark shadow a little bit and because this brush is so small but it is fluffy as well. I'm able to blend, but just really able to just concentrate in this area. And then finally, I'm just going to take a fluffy brush, which is clean, and just go over the edges just to soften them out a little bit. And to define my upper lash line, I'm going to go into the Mink Mirage palette and use this darker shade and for blush I'm going to use the Chanel this is the Labages, it's the Water Fresh blush and this is in the shade, it's light peach so I've got four of these blushes now this was the last shade that I picked up last year and I mentioned in my other video I think in my last video like this I used the Chanel water fresh blush as well and that was in the shade light pink so just like I was saying in that other video just have to break the pigment down and even though this is a light peach once you break it all down you can definitely see the payoff this is a really really gorgeous shade so I'm just going to grab a Sonia G brush and this is the classic base now I spoke about this in my other video but I think these blushes are absolutely beautiful 
So this light peach and the light pink is definitely the sheerest of the four that I've got. I've got one in coral that is a lot, shows a lot more pigment, it's a lot more deeper. And also the shade warm pink, which is a beautiful shade that gives off a little bit more as well. But the light peach, just like the light pink, I think. I just love that wash of colour. I think it's gorgeous. And they are just so beautiful on mature skin. I think they are super flattering. I love it when they go on. And it's just like the Labeige's the water tint foundation where it's really cooling when it goes on. It's the same with these blushes. It's really, really lovely. And for lipstick, I'm going to use a Guerlain one. This is the Kiss Kiss Be Glow, and this is in the shade Peach Glow. These are lip balms, so they just have a just a hint of pigment. I think the formula of these are really, really beautiful. And I'm going to use a finishing powder today. I'm going to use the Guerlain. This is the Meteorites. This is a number four. So this is more warmer. These are very heavily fragranced. But I just absolutely love them. They are just gorgeous. These have already been shaken up a little bit. But what I normally do is leave the lid on and give them a little bit of a shake. And then the little balls in there, they have little bits of powder around them. And usually what I use to put this on, it's just a buffing brush and it's fairly soft. This is the Sonia G, this is the face one. So I just swirl it around in here. And I'll just pop some all over. I think these are really beautiful and I was talking with one of my friends the other day and she was asking me about something, whether it was a setting powder or a finishing powder. And then I said, well, I don't really use a lot of finishing powders. And she said, well, you do have the meteorites as well. When I mentioned a couple that I did have. And I just forget about them. What I have is a shelf beside me on the left. And I have a whole lot of my perfumes on there. And I have these on here as well, just for display. And that's probably why oh, I forget about them. I probably should pop them in my drawer that has my other face powders and then I'll use them more. The finish is just beautiful and even though like I said they are heavily fragranced I think the smell is absolutely gorgeous. I really love it. So I love the finished look. I love these brown eyeshadows. I think they're gorgeous. And I do love mixing up the quads with the matte, with the new dip one. The new dip one is beautiful on its own, and so is the Mink Mirage. They are both beautiful on their own. But I like mixing them up, sometimes using a little bit of matte and then a little bit of that satin and sparkle as well. I think it works really well together. The La Prairie Foundation, this Essence one, is just absolutely beautiful. I love it. And the way that it looks on my skin, I just think it is really beautiful and just really flattering on my mature, oily skin. Really, really beautiful. And the La Prairie Powder is gorgeous. Yes, it's higher price, but like I was saying, I need to do a breakdown, but I'm pretty sure gram for gram it's probably similar in price to the other powders that I have. The Chanel Water Blush, love it. Love the shade in Light Peach. I could have built it up if I wanted to. Did another pump and built it up, but I quite like it, just like it is. It's just a very sheer wash of colour, but I think it looks really, really pretty. And these Guerlain, the Be Glow Lip Balms are just beautiful. Again, it's just a sheer wash of colour, but I think it looks really pretty. And I've got about three or four other ones in the Be Glow, and I love them. I think they are really, really lovely. 
So that's it for today's video. I'd love it if you gave it a like and subscribed and I will see you next time. Bye.